The first quarter results are in. Mazda sales are still on track for the best year ever. Although March wasn't the best. More, 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 more garbage. What's up everybody? I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And we're here to talk about the March 2024 sales results as we are on track and on pace to the best year ever for Mazda in the U.S. And March had strong numbers as we compare January and February. However, it wasn't quite the best March ever, and we'll go into that in just a minute. And we've got several crossovers that are still making a name for themselves and we'll dive into all those specific vehicle line numbers in just a moment. But let's first jump into the total March sales in the U.S. were 37,119. And although that's the largest, highest volume month so far this year, it was the highest March since 2007, the exciting news is that the year-to-date total is just over 100,000, 100,000, 103. And if we scaled this out, that's right, we're over 400,000 so far tracking for this year. Congratulations to all of you new Mazda owners for 2024. Thank you for your continued business. Certified pre-owned sales in the U.S. last month were 6,758. That's a 27% increase year over year. Those crossovers I was talking about, the best ever, CX-30, again in the five-digit club, over 10,000 units. The best March for CX-50 and CX-90, and we'll go into those specific numbers here shortly. Our neighbors to the north, Mazda Canada with 5,066 units in March. Our neighbors to the south, Mazda Motor de Mexico with 7,234 units. So again, congratulations to all of you new Mazda owners. Drop a comment down below if you purchased a new Mazda in the month of March, anywhere in the country or the world. Drop a comment down below so that we can celebrate you and, of course, give you some hearts. Before we jump into the individual vehicle line or the, the breakdown of individual models for the U.S., I did want to pose a question. What about the CX-5? And I'm going to expound upon this in the next few days uh, as I look at some different uh, data and results but it seems like Mazda in this country is diverting attention, incentives, etc., away from the CX-5. And I'm not so sure if that's because of stressed production internationally or if they are just seeing and wanting more lift in the CX-30 and CX-50. But let me hear from you, loyal CX-5 uh, drivers, what do you think? Is it still the vehicle of choice for you? Comment down below and we'll talk about this more in the upcoming days. Now let's break down the individual model lines starting with the Mazda 3 March results total of 4,019 units. That is 1881 of sedan and 2138 of hatchback. And you see that's a fairly substantial growth over last year, almost, well, right at 40% total units there of growth. And um, I think that's good news for the Mazda 3 and continued growth throughout uh, the entire year as expected. Mazda 6, of course, gone. MX-5 Miata total sales of 586. That's almost half of last year's total. And I think that it's still because of the remaining 23s and big expectations or waiting for the 24s, which are dropping now. So 24s are available now, and hopefully we continue to see that big push of the uh, refreshed redesign because this is going to be 
This current ND is going to be around for the next several years. CX3, gone. CX30, CX30 with the five digit club again, 10,697 units. That is the best ever sales, improving from February, the best ever, ever for CX30. I'm just curious, will April be a three-peat? We'll see. CX5 still in the five-digit club, 13,789. However, 17% less than last year of 16,612, but still a strong march for CX5. CX9, two, thank you for your support and loyalty to the CX9. CX50 with a big march at 4,654. 16% increase year over year, and that's the best march ever for CX50. MX30, gone. CX70 with those pre-sales of nine for marketing and other things. I uh, wish we could see some around here, but we've seen them driving around on Facebook and other avenues. And the plug-in was 10, so 19 total CX70s. CX90 combining those numbers, 3,353. That, of course, is the best ever March. And uh, did see some incentive changes on the Turbo S model and the plug-in hybrid. So uh, check out uh, in the next couple of days, the Zoom Zoom podcast will have a breakdown of all those incentives. That brings a total of cars to 4,605. Total of trucks, 32,514. For that grand total of March 2024, 37,119. Congratulations to all of you new Mazda owners. Thank you for your continued support in business. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comments. Or text me at 334-718-0504. I'll continually keep my ear to the ground for all the latest Mazda news. And I'll see you on the next one.